In this video, we're going to be talking about a very, very important concept of uh, any program, I mean, most programming languages such as Java, C Sharp, which is the object oriented uh, ability of the programming language. Uh, object oriented programming is a beautiful concept, and you'll soon see why. There are some terminologies that you need to master and we'll discuss them one at a time. So there are some things that you have to understand. And even though everything might not be very clear to you right now, and you know, as I always say, just be patient with me. As we do more examples, it's going to become very clear. So the first concept that you need to know is something called class in any programming, I mean, in uh, object-oriented programming. A class is a blueprint. Uh, consider that we have a car manufacturing process. The blueprint for making a car is a class. Just like we have a blueprint or a plan for building a house. You create a blueprint that represents what a car or else will look like when it is done. So remember whenever you want to build a house, you have a plan. So that plan is a blueprint for the house. So you draw exactly what the house is going to look like on a piece of paper and you give that, that to the builders and they will be able to make you um, the house exactly how you want it to look on the paper. So the blueprint is what is called a class in programming language. So for example, if we want to write a program and we want to put the program inside a robot that build a car, so when we write the class, which is the blueprint, we're going to write it exactly how we want the car to look like. And after we write the program, then we're going to put the code of the program inside the robot and the robot will be able to design us a class exactly how we've defined it. So the class is a blueprint. Just every time you want to think about a class, remember the uh, the house plan, um, house plan analogy, and that will make it easy for you. So objects, this is another thing that we talk a lot about in uh, this uh, uh, pr programming language. Object is an instance of a class. So if we have a blueprint, which is a class, then whenever we create the first car, then that is an object. Car one, so if we make the first car, car one, we make the first car, is the first instance of the class. The first object we create from the class, then we can make car 2, car 3, all of from the same class. Class is created only once. Remember, when you make a plan for your house, uh, that, that blueprint for the house is only, make, is only made once. And then we can create multiple objects from the same blueprint. So we can create multiple cars from the same blueprint. In short, we can make multiple objects from a class. Again, if you want to create a block of apartments, so if you want to create multiple house, we need only one blueprint. We need only one plan and we can make many apartments. So each of the individual item that you derived from the blueprint is called an object. And the, the, the blueprint itself is the class. So it's very easy. Every time, just think about the about apartment or the block of flats or house that you may have planned for. The plan is the blueprint, is the class. And each of the buildings that you actually create from using that blueprint is an object. So what about methods? Methods are actions that are performed on an object. Say for example now, we create an object which is a new house. Then we can perform some actions on that new house. For example, if we have a car making class, we can have methods like build car, which is going to build a car. And then we have another method, paint car, which is going to paint the cars. We insert the engine and we add tires to the car. So these objects are actually, uh, these methods are actually actions that we perform on an object. These methods are actions, the action methods. Consider our apartment building class. So we have a new class to build a house. We can have methods like build house, paint house, roof house, and decorate house. So anytime you have an object when you, whenever you create an object you have methods or action that you can perform on them so that uh, you complete the, uh, uh, the, 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 the the object creation process so let's take a more practical example consider you want to create a bank account program for a bank you will create a blueprint 
which is a class for all the bank accounts that can be opened even if 1 million accounts will be opened eventually they still need one class to do it then whenever a new customer comes around a new account a new object will be derived from the blueprint each object is unique just like the house we build it will have different house numbers each car will have a unique engine number and each bank account will have a different account number so um, when you create a blueprint, for example, you want to create a, um, a, a class for your a, a bank account program. So you create a class to design exactly what each bank account that you're going to create, what each object will have. For example, you will um, create a, a blueprint for the bank account and it's going to have some properties such as uh, account number, the sort code, the customer name, the balance and so on and so forth. And each of these objects will be very unique. Remember when you create a new bank account as it's for your customer, the account will be different from the account of the next person. Even though we create multiple objects from the same class, we create multiple uh, objects from the same class, each of them will still have, be very unique just like your, if you build a house. Each house is very unique because each house has a different house number. Even if you're creating a car, a, a different cars, you can create multiple cars. You can create multiple cars, thousands of cars from one robot. Robots can make thousands of cars. But when it's put in the engine, the engine number will be different. So each car will have its own unique uniqueness. So these are the things that you have to understand. These are the uh, terminology. They might not be very clear to you right now. But as we go through the program, and I'll show you an example, these things will be very, very clear. But uh, if you watch this video again and uh, uh, try and read through what I've written here, it will make sense. Maybe not very clearly now, but at least when we start writing uh, actual program then they will make sense to you and I will see you in the next video thank you